complement of the given set. From the given, our universal set has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And set B has the elements 4, 5, 6, and 7. While set C is an empty set. To get the complement of A, universal set minus set A. So we must list the elements of the universal set which are 1 to 10. Then subtract the elements of set A which are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now how are we going to do that? We must remove every element or elements in A that can be found in the universal set. And what are those? That's correct. We must remove 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 because that is also present in the universal set. And therefore, what are the elements left? That's correct. So the complement of A will be 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. To get the complement of B, universal set minus set B. Now we must list the elements of the universal set, which are 1 to 10, minus the elements of set B, which are 4, 5, 6, and 7. So again, to subtract, we must remove every element in B that can be found in the universal set. And what are those? That's correct. We have 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, what are the elements left? That's correct. And that will be the complement of B, which are 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, and 10. And for the last one, to get the complement of C, universal set minus set C. So again, we must list the elements of the universal set, which are 1 to 10. Then subtract the elements of C. But notice that set C is an empty set, and therefore, it has no elements. Now, what are the elements that we're going to remove? That's correct. We cannot remove any elements, and therefore, the complement of C will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, which is also equivalent to our universal set. It's easy, right? Well, you can pause the video and answer this. Find the complement of the given set. From the given set, we have the universal set 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Our set A has the elements 1 and 2. And set B has the elements 1, 3, and 5. And set C has the element which is 4. So find the complement of the given set. Let's check your answers. So the complement of A will be 3, 4, and 5. The complement of B will be 2 and 4. And the complement of C will be 1, 2, 3, and 5. So if you got 3 out of 3, then very good.